Why, hello there, you smoking green beauty. What's your name? Well, Mary Jane, I'm digging your Delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol, if you know what I mean. What say we head back to my bong and activate our chemical romance? Whoa, baby, you're smoking. Well, that was awkward. Before we start going into the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay, maybe just good and bad, let's start at the very beginning. No, 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 not that far. As far as anyone knows, marijuana has been traced back to South and Central Asia, as far back as 5,000 years. Holy crap, guess stoners weren't a modern invention then. No, in fact marijuana was mostly used for spiritual pursuits, like rituals, and the like around 2000 BCE to 5 BCE. So it wasn't mainly for recreation. For us it appeared in and was used recreationally since the late 20th century. But eventually it was outlawed, and then people started smoking it in secret. Eventually, it became a holiday. I use the word loosely, and is now used every April 20th at 4.30, or 420, as the kids call it. So, exactly what does make marijuana? Marijuana? Well, let me throw out a few aliases first. Weed, pot, ganja, Mary Jane, cannabis. There are a lot more, but whoa, I don't have enough time to tell you about that. So inside of weed is an active chemical called Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol. Try saying that three times fast. Or THC. Well, THC is in fact a mind-altering chemical, which is effective because its structure is similar to anandamide, which is a chemical structure already in the brain. Well, since these structures are very similar, the THC can easily attach to neurons and forcefully activate them. It's over 9,000! What 9,000?! <laughs> Just kidding, only 100%. This activation occurs in regions that influence pleasure, memory, thinking, concentration, movement, coordination, sensory, and time perception. If that's the case, doesn't that mean we've unlocked our 100% potential? Uh, no, doesn't work that way, bub. In fact, because the brain becomes overloaded with 100% output of nerve signals, we actually become impaired, which means we're less effective at what would be easier for us otherwise. We have to also note that the hippocampus is affected too. You know that little spot that helps people form new memories and shift his or her attentional focus? Response time for all you gamers who need quick reaction times. So I know by now you're saying, shut up dad. So whatever, just hear what else I have to say, pretty please. So short term effects first, short term memory weakens, dry mouth, terrible motor skills, red eyes, feelings of paranoia and anxiety. That last one happens more often when people consume more than they meant to, which actually isn't hard to see happen. Acute psychosis is also another one where the person themselves experience delusions, hallucinations, or a loss of personal identity. No, that doesn't mean amnesia. It means you act in a way not like yourself. For example, you think you're a superhero who can fly, so you decide the edge of the building is a good liftoff point. Don't do that, ever. Seriously, don't. Just don't. Long-term side effects are actually more worse and can really destroy a life, especially when marijuana is used during the development period of your life, uh, around 0 to 20-ish. Zero is possible, by the way, through secondhand smoke or having a mother who's breastfeeding use marijuana, thus putting the THC into the milk and is then ingested by the baby. Sad, I know, but true. If you say weed isn't addicting, sorry folks, you're actually wrong. It may not be highly addictive if you compare it to harder drugs, but in an epidemiological epidemiological nailed it study of substance use often use dependence as a proxy for addiction but this is complicated as dependence does not necessarily mean addiction but nonetheless the study suggests 9% of people using marijuana will become dependent with it rising to 17% if they start in their teens in 2015, 14% of people in the US met the criteria for marijuana use disorder with 138,000 seeking treatment for their own marijuana use to speed things up, my friends, let's list off long-term effects. Decreased brain activity for those of you who start in your teens. Behavioral problems when mothers smoked weed while pregnant. Significantly less likely to graduate or get a degree than your non-smoking peers. It's also linked with low income, greater welfare dependence, unemployment, criminal behavior, and life satisfaction. Jeez, your life literally goes down the gutter. You also get four times more time in your esophagus, your airway, my friends, because for some reason holding in smoke is somehow better. And the last thing is the clear, yes clear, link to an aggressive form of testicular cancer. The freaky thing is, it doesn't matter when you start, you'll get it with a few years of smoking weed. Holy crap, we're close to the end of my time and I forgot to talk about the good things, but it's far and few. The only benefits to marijuana is for medical patients in the form of medicine pills, dronabinol and nabilone for cancer patients undergoing chemo and to make people with wasting syndrome due to AIDS increase their appetite. 
Bam the like button, bam the dislike button if you want. Bam, subscribe, and type some comments on what you think of marijuana. You know that the board is moderated, so if you troll, hate, bait, or, you know, become a nuisance, you're out. And come back in two weeks for the next one.